Hey, hey, hey. What's up? What's up? How you doing? Glad you're back. This is Santuck Man, the host of The Fisherman's View on Life. And I'm glad to be back on the show with my, all of my listeners, all four, five, six of you. <laughs> Just had a connection from one family member. Let me see where she at. She's my fourth or fifth cousin, Tatiana. Tatiana. She is in Federal Way, Washington. She is my fifth cousin. Let me see if it's on what side. I think it's my mother's side. Yeah, mom's side. So that's those people up there where my uh, mother's sister used to live. And she had an uncle, Uncle Ruben, that lived up in that area. And I don't know if he had kids or not, but uh, he lived up there for the majority of his life. And that was my mother's uncle, Ruben, Uncle Ruben. All right, so we got Tatiana Tyson. How you doing, cousin? I sent her a, a, a hello. And she said, hey, how are you? I told her we we're related on my mom's side. And I told her about the podcast, Santuck Man, the host on Pod Being Live. And uh, so I'm hoping she called in. I'm going to send her a hello again, let her know I'm live. Hello today, cousin. I'm live right now huh? on my podcast. Want to chat? I hope she do. I think I sent her my number. I'm going to send her my number. Oh, let's see. I'm going to send her my phone number. <laughs> Give me a holla. H O L L A. Padao. Mm hmm. Uh, say you will be there. So that was Tatiana. She called me. Well, not called me. She texted me. I'm hoping she would uh, correspond again. Then I had Jessica Thurman down in Louisiana. She wanted to say, hey. Right? She hasn't responded then. I got John Shana felt. And he's on my father's side. Let's see if he had a bio. Portland, Oregon. I want to say he was an adopted one, but I don't see his messages anymore. So I'm going to shoot him another message. Hello today. He ain't responded, so he's my fifth cousin on my, uh, let me see who's uh, Pop. dad's side. Who's on my dad's side? If I look close at him, he looked like the Harris's. Got those eyes, except the ears are blue. Hello. Hello. Ba -na 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 -na. Hope everybody is all right out there. Let me send a hello out there to everybody. Open up the doors. Hello, hello. Hello. Shoot out a couple. See if Robin want to holler at me. Invite. Hello, cousin Robin. See if my buddy Warren want to holler at me. Hello, Warren. Miss Summer want to holler at me. Hello. I'm done. Somebody shout. Somebody. Filthy breakfast, you out there. I hope you're driving safe out there, big dog. Nice to holler at you. Now we're just going to see all these people. Hello, my goodness. And that's John Shannafelt, Portland, Oregon. Hey, John Shannafelt, anybody out there in Oregon listening to me, 
tell my cousin John Shanafelt that his cousin Santuck, man, is on the pod being live streaming on his own show, Fisherman's View on Life. And this is the sad part about life. We don't know our people. We don't know where you at. You never heard of me. I never heard of you. And here it is. We on the we on the uh, same planet, a couple of hours away by flight. I take a cross country, say hey to us to my new cousin. <laughs> my dad's people have always been strange, man. A little different. They don't like to come over to your house and say hey to you. You know, they just see you at the funeral. You know. Then you only get the, the nieces. You don't get their kids. Yeah. It's something. So looking forward to hollering at you one day, John. Santa Felt. Da 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 da. Mm-hmm. Janice Flutes. She and I has became become uh has become um, Facebook friends. I'm gonna invite everybody to be my Facebook friends if you holler at me. She sent this one is uh, another Janice. This is a Janice Ford. She said, "Hi, my name is Janice Ford, and I'm currently trying to find my relatives on my mother's side. I know nothing of them, but the stories I was told." So I sent her a hello, and I sent the number phone number to her, and. Uh, Told her what side of the family she was on. She said, hello, my name is Janet Ford. My mom's name is Gloria Ford, but her mother, which is my grandmother's name is Joan Williams. Our family maiden name is Pitts, Smith, and Harris. I really do not know much of my mother's family. I, I took the DNA to get answers. And I told her, I said, well, hello today. Well, cousin, look like you, you could be either on my mom's side and her mom or her mom's or her dad's side, who I never knew. My mother was Maddie Louise Cheeks Smith, then finally Harris. Her mother was Alma Cheeks, and her mother was Minnie Cheeks. That is as far as I can go. I have a podcast called Fisherman's View on Life, and I talk about my lost family. Thus far, I have 5,000 family members I've never met, including you. (laughs) LOL. If you want to call and chat, I'd be live around 6.30-ish nightly, and I'd put my phone number in there. How long have you been doing this? I, I've only been on here for four months, and I'm blown away. Okay, holler at me if you like. And so she hasn't responded, so I'm going to send her a hello, see if she responded today. So that was yesterday. I sent that to Janice. And she's my fourth cousin, which is not far away. And she's in Chicago, Illinois. We'd love to talk to you there, Cousin Janice. See how you're doing. And let's trip together about we being in the same family and not knowing it. See how far back we can go. But you're on my mom's side, okay? Mom's side all day. All right. So give me a holler if you want to. That was Janice Ford. And Janice Flute is on my uh Janice Flutes is on my my um Facebook. Then I got a Megan Barbara. Talk to her. She's a young chick. I sent her a hello. Since a lot of hellos, we've been talking good. We started back in February, February 20th. She said, hello, cousin, hope all is well. She sent me a reply back the same day. Hi, I'm all good, how are you? I sent her a reply back, all wells, this is amazing. She said, I'm, I'm really glad that it is possible to find relatives through DNA now because I don't know my biological father, so I'm happy I can meet some, someone this way, this, side, this way. Did you like the Navy? I said, oh, wow. Oh, wow, another one. If you have any questions, feel free to call. And I put my number in there, and I'm at home after six. And then I told her, no, I didn't like the Navy. (laughs) 
She said, thank you. My adoptive father served in the army and my maternal grandfather was the Coast Guard. My dad ended up disabled, so he has mixed feelings about the army. And I told him, yeah, I feel you. Your dad and your dad, my body is and my body is is falling apart. I'm hanging on from the for the most part. What type of work you do? She said, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm currently just a student and I'm I'm aiming at something in the dental field, either pediatrics or just general work in a rural area. I moved out of this summer. To, I moved out this summer, though, for uh, from from home, though. So I'll have to find a job then. Yeah, you need to find a job. OK, good to hear you. Do you know where you're going to live yet? She hasn't responded. I sent her something on June 1st. That was all March 1st. So we haven't talked since March 1st. So now it is June. I hope she's doing all right. I sent her some hello today, cousin. Let's chat, chat, chat. And uh, live on my podcast now. Hello. She ain't responded. So March, April, May, June. Three months. Four months, including the first of March. Cause. No, every time I tell some of my cousins to give me a call, they, they stop speaking. You know? The whole purpose of this is to, for us to connect. So I'm going to excuse myself for one minute. I was so comfortable, I forgot my TV is running in the background. So let me go turn it down. Hello. Mm. Alrighty, alrighty. I want to know. Hello. Okay, I'm back. When you got me some water. And uh, I'm still reading about my Megan Barbara. I hope she says uh, hello. <clears throat> People want to say that you're looking to get in touch with their roots, but don't. Uh... How you doing, Misha Charles? Misha Charles, how you doing? I'm going to invite you as a speaker. Hello. Mincha Charles. Hello. Want to wanna come on and holler at me? See if you got some DNA you need to find. But yeah, I'm just running across people, man, and they just blowing me away. Janice, we're going to have to talk. You can listen to my podcast, Cousin Janet, but you ain't got to talk on it. You can listen to it. I'm going to send her. You can listen to it. <clears throat> I 
Hello today, cousin. <clears throat> Listen to my podcast. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Okay, men, Nash, men, shot Charles. I don't know if you want to join or not, but that's all right. It's one of those things. I just invited one of my cousins to listen to me just to help me out. I got to figure out how to do all of this stuff. Yeah, I got Best Buy on the phone. Hello, Best Buy. Hello, this is Best Buy calling to remind you about your in-home appointment scheduled for June 4, 2022. Mm-hmm. With an estimated arrival time between 7.30 a.m. and 11.30 a.m. Local time at 5.560. Mm. Gear, social distancing minimums, and cleaning supplies and processes. Our safety measures help against COVID-19, but we can't guarantee there's no risk of illness. For more information about our safety practices for in-home appointments, visit www.bestbuy.com slash safe home visit. If anyone in your home is ill or in quarantine, please reschedule your appointment for a later date. Or contact us to change your order to a doorstep delivery. You can reach our customer service representative from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Central Time, seven days a week, at 1 888 Best Buy. Again, that number is 1 888 237 8289. Please visit bestbuy.com/slash appointment for important appointment updates. Again, that's bestbuy.com slash appointment. We thank you for your business, and we look forward to seeing you at your appointment on June 4, 2022. Yay. I get some stuff taken care of at the house. When you can't cook, you shouldn't play with fire. <laughs> you can burn your whole house down. So... That's where we at. I got to get a new microwave tomorrow. So. But yeah, I at least I ain't have to replace the whole doggone house. Got Judy Richards down there in Mississippi. She uh, she and I spoke. I sent her a uh, come by, give me a call, and she ain't called back. So uh, she's down there in Goodman, um, Goodman. Mississippi. Let me see. Shut up, my buddy Smitty. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Anybody out there had a military buddy they wanted to, uh, Say hey to, and they said hey to him in a month of Sundays. Well, me and my buddy Warren have been trying to find our friend Smitty from uh, Japan. This is what hookup is. Uh, we uh, been trying to find him for the last fifteen years. <laughs> 
last 15 years or so with the new technology. We, we had an address. We had a picture of his house he grew up in in uh, Louisville, Kentucky. And uh, Warren came to my, no, I went to, Warren came to my house and I went to Warren's house, but we always wanted to hook up with Smitty. So we got, we, we, tonight Warren is going to give me a call and we all going to be three-way on the guy, the, on the, on the uh, phone. <laughs> After what's 1987 to now is how many years? I ain't seen each other I said, hey, how many years would that be? I ain't got my calculator. I ain't got my calculator. But it's a whole lot of years. 25, 35, something like that. 25. Okay. So about 9.30 tonight. <laughs> about, about 10 o'clock tonight, we all going to be tripping. <laughs> Yeah, we we gonna be tripping. <laughs> Maybe me and Warren to go see him. We all do a hookup. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So if you got any military friends like Warren and I had, um. And and trying to contact them, this new technology stuff, man, is just mind blowing, mind blowing. And we finding each other. We saying, "Hey, man, we saying, hey, hey, hey." And now we get the chance to say hey to one another. And go and be all out there talking and stuff. I know Warren was tripping because Warren and, and, and uh, Smitty hung out more than me and Smitty. But when we hung out, we hung out. And then we, we, was, we were chilling. And now we get the chance to be together. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, buddy. Military, man, you get to meet and, and enjoy nice people or you get to meet some of the worst people. But but uh, it was nice to meet Smitty and Warren early in my years. I met Smitty and Warren both by the two and a half year mark. So it's good. So, but, um, how many of y'all like flowers? I really love flowers. Mm. Get some bees out there, man, and have them pollinate them bad boys. How many of you like Japanese koi? I think they are beautiful. Get you about a hundred of them in one place. Da, da, da. Anybody got any fruit trees? Any of my family members out there got some fruit trees? Any of my listeners? Are you some fruit growers? I might get me some seeds and grow some tangerines, some nectarines, some plums, peaches. Pears are my favorite fruit. I love them bad boys. Ooh, that's a beautiful orange she just cut. Acidic. Ooh. Stop the madness. Oh, wow. Hmm. So, got any farmers out there in my family? I might get some kiwi and grow some kiwi. They a viney thing, aren't they? Yeah, roses, roses, roses. Mm. 
Crystal balls are pretty. <laughs> it's some it's some places in this world people just shouldn't mess with. Holy cow. I'm looking at my Instagram as I'm talking. That's why I'm asking about the uh farmers in the family. Any farmers out there? Some huge carrots. When I go home, I'm going to be growing a garden, get some chickens, grow a garden, chill out. Give me something to do. What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh. Mm mm mm. How many of you raised chickens? You raised chickens out there. Plant some ginger. Ooh. Just ripping bees off and getting the honey. Oh, look at that. Mm-hmm. 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 Go fishing. Nature at home. China got some serious landscape. Wow, it's some beautiful koi fish in this world. You get a you get a carp, it can last one hundred years, live for a hundred years, grow to be about four feet long, hundred ten pounds. Hmm. Da, 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 da. Ah, da, da. Ooh. Do some pickling up from some fruit. Mm. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to call in. I'm looking at some pretty flowers, man. I just don't have time for a garden. When you get a garden, you got to nurture it, man. Maybe you got a fig tree. Dehydrate some figs. Gooses protected kids. Goslings. They beat you up. Swans are the same. They beat you up. Da, 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 da. Mm. I saw someone driving on the wrong side of the road to yesterday, and they just kept going. Nobody could tell them they was on the wrong side of the road. Going, holy cow. Awesome. Ba-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Look at those big old head koi fish. Oh. No listeners. I've been on here for 30 minutes. 
We got 30 more minutes, maybe an hour. Need to have Da, 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 da. Pears, pears, and more pears. Yeah, those are pretty. Ooh, a whole lot of potatoes in that thing. Wow, big old pumpkin. Who out there grows the giant pumpkins? The giant pumpkin. Of those long purple grapes. Wow. Da -da 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 Say you uh, oh, those are some serious mangoes. I might plant some mangoes. It looked like they might not get about three years you could be growing mango, eating mangoes. Throw a watermelon in the water. Oh, those are some pretty apples. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Pomegranate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pineapples. Papaya. Maybe I'll grow some, some papaya. They got a million seeds. Yeah, man. Wow, that is pretty. Da -da 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 -da. Scampity. Mangoes again. One of three of them. Watermelon. How many people out there like watermelon? Yeah, buddy. Yeah, watermelon heaven. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I love grapes. Might go buy me some grapes tomorrow. Don't know what that is. What is that? Mm 
Mm-hmm. Some chat, chat, ta, ta, ta. Cabbage. How many of you know how to make cha cha? You know how to make cha cha, boy. You're a good person there, boy. Some good cha cha, some cabbage, collard greens, cornbread, pork chop. You can cry. How many fishermen I got out there? I'm calling myself the fisherman's view on life, and I ain't talked to one fisherman yet. <laughs> Not a single fisherman yet. Oh, that's pretty. That is pretty, pretty, pretty. Hello, friends. Mm-mm. Who likes spicy food? I cannot eat Thai food. Some of it. I like the papaya salad and some fish and chips, fish uh, stew they got. As long as it ain't hot. I don't, I don't do spicy. Who can cook out there? Love to see some meals, man. Follow me on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Go prune my tree. Yeah. Go prune my tree when I get down to Carolina. See if I can grow some big cherries or some big old oranges or some big old peaches. And they're getting peppers and just eating them. A whole mouthful of red peppers. Can't do it. Can't do it, figs. It's some it's some serious farmers out there. It's some serious backyard. I want to give my shout out to my coworker Nancy, former coworker Nancy. She put pictures on her Facebook of her garden. Man, she got the zucchini. She got the doggone eggplant, tomatoes. She got everything. Cabbage. I might make me some cornbread tonight. Go get me some buttermilk. And eat me some cornbread, buttermilk, and fat back. Go get one of them. I just hurt myself. (laughs) I got this steak, man. Since I haven't had dinner, I might stay up late and cook it for her. Cook it for my, uh, cook it for my mid rats. Steak and three scrambled eggs with cheese. Three scrambled eggs and some toast. Wish I had some Texas toast here. Who like making pizza? Oh, he on the pizza too? <laughs> the guy that just throws his hands out. He's on the pizza. I did not know that. (laughs) 
how to pull a piece of pizza off of. Use your hand. Tell me, I know y'all saying, why are you quiet? I'm looking at Facebook and what these people doing to pizza. There's a whole bunch of at-home chefs, man. I just want a good meal that ain't spicy. I might get into cooking, have my own fishing show, cooking show. So, I don't know. But, uh, skip. Who's some bread makers out there? Anybody know how to make pumpernickel? Would love to have some good pumpernickel in, uh, what is it called? In uh, mozzarella cheese with some good brie cheese. Oh my goodness. Who can eat that? How to eat pizza. Quietly. Alone at the table. With grease dripping down and pepperoni all around, you eat the pizza even if it falls on the ground. <laughs> Sometimes a bagel. Ooh, now what he doing to this bagel? A bagel pizza. A bagel pizza. Ta pa ta ta pa pa ta ta pa 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 zu zi da da sa pa da sa. I'm wondering how many family members I have in the, in the cooking business, in the catering business. I want to give a shout out to my uh, high school friend, Kim Tim Stewart. Let me see if I can find his name of his place on the Tim. Let me see what it says. Tim. What did I say? I can't get his logo. He's a uh, Tim Stewart Seafood. He got a seafood truck down there in Florida. I didn't know he was in the food like he is. Looks like he's doing plates. Oh, shrimp and grits. Oh, shrimp and grits. Stop it, man. Got sausage, egg, and potatoes. Shrimp and grits, sausage, egg, and cheese and grits, bacon and egg. Get out, man. Breakfast all day. I love a breakfast meal any time of the day. Let 
Yep, yep. Got to send Brooks Mullins some uh, congratulations. I'm assuming she's graduating from high school this year. Let me send her some flowers and say congrats to her. Hi, Cindy. Mm. Somebody call her name. And I said, hello. Send her a combination. So awesome. Awesome. Send awesome like five times. Awesome. 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 Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so Tim stood seafood down there in Florida. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Who yeah. mm, mm, mm. like peaches? One thing about a peach, I hate a smooshy peach. For some odd reason, reason, a smooshy peach just doesn't do it for me. I like a nice firm peach, nice yellow peach. Just awesome, awesome. Hello, Ida Guinness. Ida is a Hungarian artist who painted a portrait for me. So now she's my favorite artist and I follow her and I send her beautiful pictures that I hope she like. Let's see, I said hello to Halle Berry. Yeah, I'm, I'm calling out Halle Berry, and uh, I want to see if she said hello back. I actually, it, do she fish? She hasn't responded. Ah, that doesn't look okay. She hasn't responded, so. Ta -da 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 -da. Anybody got a body? When I get down to Carolina, I'm going to try to get me a baby grand piano. Put it in my hallway. And play. Maybe I'll learn to play. Get some jazz going. Turn out down. Do that Alice Coltrane. Ba -da 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 -da. Bullypedia certified pedigree. How many of you got a pit bull out there? Ba -da -ba -da -da. Ba -da 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 -da. What do we have to go on? A 2004 Fleetwood Terra 26Q, model 27 class A. This is about an hour ago in Chesapeake. I always kept it in the garage, gently driven, no rust, no dents, original paint, no accident, no clear coat, fading paint, looks immaculate. It's a non-smokers, non-pet in this motorhome. It was just serviced three days ago. New tires. Inter interior is very clean with no bad smell or odor. 
Ooh-wee. Now, I'm going to have to look at that. $2,000? I don't think that's right, though. Seafood on demand. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at getting an RV. Jeep Wrangler going to send to. I would love to get me an RV and just go cross country. Chill out. What? Free. No. 1991 Chevrolet four winds, clean title, never had a need. Any paint, body work done, garage kept, always riding in mechanical property. Camper is super clean, no issues. Holy cow, free. Listed six hours ago in Virginia Beach. No way. Mm -hmm. Wonder how many singers I have in the family. Paint. Says a twenty four cricket. I am just in awe at what they got for sale. Nineteen ninety eight Fleetwood. A Winnebago. What? Twenty 
20,000 pounds, one, four, six, six. Selma Parish shop. A sax How many saxophone players out there listening to me? Huh? How many of you out there? I'm looking at a $4,500 Selma saxophone. So what I want y'all to do collectively, whomever is listening out there, is to get together and uh, everybody put $2 in that's listening. And we can see how this can go. Hmm. I like to fish. In water where there are some big ones. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. How many of you know how to make a chicken coop? Mm. How many of you can do that? Mm. But, um, Me some chickens, get some fresh eggs every day. Fresh eggs every day. I want to get into beekeeping. Who's a beekeeper? Who's a beekeeper? I'm a zillionaire, Larry. Well, the bone, the get into z beekeeping. You be like, hey. Hey, mystery, mystery. Mm. Buzz Bait City, $500,000 for a four bedroom house, two and a half bath. Mm -hmm. No one is out there listening to me. But I'm going to go in here and call out some names of my family members again. That was Judy Richardson Richards in Goodman, Mississippi was the last person. She's my fourth cousin. We shared a third great grandparent. And she don't believe what side we on. She don't, I told her my mom's side. But I got a lot of family members, man. A lot of family members. I've been on here for an hour. I'm shocked nobody has called in. Filthy breakfast, where you at, man? Give me a holler. Yeah, anybody. Get my friends over in Africa. Give me a holler, man. You passing through and you hear me hollering? Just say hey to me. And I had my cousin Ada Louise Vel Baptiste Mayo. Say hello to me in Jamaica. Got Leonard Reed. Got June McMillan. She's, I think, third or second cousin. I'm going to say she's the second cousin. She's a third cousin. Yeah. See what side she was on? Dad's side. So we got a grandma in common. She's in Florida. Let me see. 
And we said, hey, she ain't, she ain't responding back either. I sent her another hello. <clears throat> I'm looking at this, uh, looking at this Winnebago. See if I can get the Winnebago and cross the country. Okay, $2,000 for, for a uh, Winnebago ain't a bad price. I just got to get the time. That was a good price, I think. I don't want a fifth wheel. How many people got a fifth wheel? I don't want a fifth wheel. No, that ain't, that ain't what I'm looking for. Hey, 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 hey. Mm. So we are just going to Look at everything, fishing related and everything else. Da -da 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 I am here to tell you this has been the most amazing journey thus far. 1963 Cadillac DeVille Coupe. Ooh. Drove Wind Park Classic for Resignation. Ooh, we look at that engine. Ooh, look at the inside. Nobody. Nobody. Yeah. No. But, uh, all right, I ain't got no more family members calling in or whatnot. They ain't even texting me back, man. It's just sad. So I'm going to be cutting off here tonight in a few. So, hey, Cousin June McMillan Leach, give me a holler. Give me a holler there, cousin. I sent you, you my third cousin there. So give me a holler. I would love to talk to you. See who told you what. Because yeah, that's on my dad's side. So it could be my Uncle Rice's kid or something. I don't know. <clears throat> All right. So I've been on here for an hour and a half. I don't know who was listening to me or whatnot, but uh, appreciate any and everybody listening. Manisha entered the live studio, but she didn't say anything, which is okay. I'm good. But uh, you be good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call out, do a countdown. 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And boom.